okay friends so now let's look at the lock and un unlock feature for that uh, we first need to make this controls mode we are making uh, two states lock and full controls so this is controls mode and we need these buttons image buttons lock button and unlock button and inside on create method we are initializing these two controls and we also have the unlock panel let's look at it so this is unlock panel inside unlock panel we have only one button which is unlock button which is at the top left corner means uh, when user locks the screen the that button will only be shown and if he wants to unlock and see all the other controls he has to press that button and we can return back in the normal state that is we have defined it as full controls so this is this was the initialization part now uh, let's suppose if someone clicks on button lock means if someone clicks on the lock button what will happen let's go to the on click over here on click function what will happen is uh, we have a control state variable which will save the state if it is locked or unlocked if it is locked or in the full uh, full controls mode so it, it will then set to lock state because user wants to lock the screen and if you remember we have this root variable root actually contains all the controls over here if you can see the root actually contains contains all the controls which are visible to the user so hiding the root will disappear all the controls so so this is the root and inside it there are inside it there there is there are all the controls so when someone clicks on the lock button we actually hiding the visibility is gone making the visibility is gone for the root and we are making the visibility of unlock panel as visible so what will happen is the root is gone so all the controls are gone unlock panel is visible so only that lock icon unlock icon will be visible to the user this is exactly what is happening over here in the lock when someone clicks on the lock button and now if someone is in the lock state and wants to come back to the full controls mode so he has to press the unlock button so what will happen when someone clicks on the unlock button the control state variable will be again set to full controls and root will be visible and unlock panel will be gone so vice versa is happening over here but let's come to see in a normal video player if you can view in your mobile the controls hide after some time so to implement that kind of functionality we have to use threads runnable threads so next we'll be looking to that functionality of hiding the controls okay so let's move to the functionality where we can hide controls means uh, let's first understand the functionality if user comes and watches uh, is watching a video and after some time of after some time like say 10 seconds or 20 seconds if he is continuously watching the video and controls are above the video screen he will be disturbed so we have to hide the controls after certain amount of time let's say 5 seconds after 5 seconds the uh, controls will be hidden so to implement this kind of functionality 
and also we need to check one thing that if user uh, if the controls are hidden and now if user wants to pause the video so the control should reappear again so how they will reappear is when user touches on the screen and after he remove uh, releases the touch the control should reappear and again the controls if they are visible he can now the user can now pause or play or use any other controls to either seek video or increase the volume decrease the volume so user has the controls when he wants and they are hidden automatically after five seconds so this is the entire functionality which we want to implement and now let's see the code for that so over here we have made two functions that is hide all controls and show controls so first look at show controls now as we are in the two states uh, like in the full control state or in the lock state we don't know if the user is in which state so first let's write if the user is in full controls mode so we will have to make visible the root controller so the root has all the controls so root variable has all the controls in it so if we if it is in the gone state so it if if it is not visible we have to make it visible and also if user is in the lock state so now user has clicked the lock button as and now is in the lock state of the player and now we have to check if the unlock panel is either visible or not so if it's not visible we have to make it visible so we have this line main handler dot remove callback dot hide controls so what is hide controls and what is this main handler main handler is actually the handler which is managing the entire application so this is over here over here so the main handler remove callbacks hide controls so what is hide controls then hide controls is a runnable which is just calling this function hide all controls so let's look at this hide all controls then in hide all control uh, all controls we are again checking if the state is full controls or the lock state so if we are in the full controls state we are checking if the root is visible if it's visible we are making it invisible again in the lock state if unlock panel is visible we are making it invisible and also over here we are setting the immersive flag so our notification bar and navigation bar are hidden so this is about hide controls hide controls is actually calling the hide all controls and then over here now we can see we are actually removing all the con uh, callbacks which are linked with hide controls and then we are again initiating a hide control with post delayed function after three seconds so this is three seconds we can change it to five seconds or specified seconds according to our requirement so when we call this post delete of the three seconds it will call this hide controls runnable this runnable will call hide all controls function and all of our controls will be hidden and also we will set the immersive flag as true so what will happen is both those bars will be hidden the user will be seeing the video without controls on the screen so now let's look at the possibility if the controls are hidden and now user wants the controls to appear so we have this on touch event over here so you have to like override this function and after overriding it we have to get the action as action up so action up is actually when you are tapping the finger on the screen and again releasing it so the action up is called 
in action up we are actually calling the show controls so in show controls we are again showing the all controls and of we are waiting for three seconds get the response from the user if user didn't respond in three seconds we are actually hiding the all hiding all the controls again so this was about controls showing and hiding so let's check the qualities section so when user clicks on that setting button we want to show the qualities available in with the video we are using a hls video hls video usually has qualities so like qualities like 320p 480p uh, 720p 1080p the most highest quality so if the video has qualities and user want to switch the quality to the higher or the lower basing based on this uh, in connection speed we can show it by by using the that setting button so we have this setting button over here and in on create method we are initializing it so setting button is initialized and also we are attaching to a on click listener so this is the initialization part and now let's look the on click function inside on click if user clicks on the setting button <coughs> we are actually creating a pop up so the pop up is initialized with this and the view view we are getting from here so so and also we need to uh, we need to add some menu inside the pop up so after we have the pop up the pop up also needs a menu inside it so over here this is menu equals to menu equals to pop up dot get get menu so the menu the object menu is initialized over here and now we need to add some entries inside the menu so the first entry is obviously a video quality text so if someone clicks on the settings button he should know that i am seeing the video quality so this is the text video quality and as you can see in the add in menu dot add the first parameter is group id so we don't have a group so menu dot none item id which is the zeroth item order also is the zero and the string which we want to display so the string is video quality so accordingly we initiate a for loop over here and inside for loop uh, the file of i is initialized as zero and it is incremented till the uh, get track count is zero uh, and it is incremented till we get the all qualities so if a uh, video has three qualities like 1080p 720p and 480p so it will display all uh, so it will be like 0 to 2 the player dot get track count will return you the number of qualities the so inside for loop we have this media format class and uh, the object format so we have this another function to get the quality the first quality in the list so this is player dot get track format 0 comma i so first video zeroth video and that's uh, that videos zeroth quality so i is zero to, so zeroth quality so we get the quality in uh, the quality in the format variable now we are checking if the format is adoptive so we get to know this via this mime types is video format dot mime types so if the format is adoptive so our first will be auto usually in hls uh, videos the first 
quality is auto and then we get uh, another quality is like 480p 680p so the we are getting the width of the video like 720 is the width so we are attaching a p over here so in this way the entire menu is built and then <coughs> the menu is given to pop up and then at the end pop up dot show method is called so the pop up is shown and also we are over here um, making a set on click set on menu item click listener so if someone clicks on the item of the menu any item of the menu player changes the quality so for changing that quality player dot set selected track so zero is the track and this is the quality which the user has selected then it changes the quality to that particular quality so if the user is in the auto quality right now and wants to change its quality to like 480p so user clicks on that 480p and depending on the id of that 480p that id will come in the second parameter and player will change its quality to 480 so this is how we create the setting so this is the code for it okay friends so let's now check on the device so when user so let's first look at the lock and unlock fun functionality so when user clicks on the lock button it go goes into the lock state and again if user clicks on the unlock button it again goes to the unlock state that is the full control state in our code next as you can see when i tap on the screen the controls are up, uh, appear and if i don't do any activity controls disappear so when the controls are appearing we can use the controls to seek and navigate play or pause now let's look at the settings button so when i click on the settings button we can see the video qualities so the first menu is first item is video quality which is the text auto comes because it is a hls video and rest of the quality is 320 640 and 1280 so if the user has a less bandwidth or less speed and he clicks on 320 the video goes into the less bandwidth mode so in this way user can change the qualities